Robert Enka, the 24th of August 1977 to the 10th of November 2009, was a German football goalkeeper. Enka most notably played for Benfica and Barcelona, but made the majority of his appearances for Bundesliga side Hanover 96 in his homeland. He won eight full international caps for the German national team between the 1999 Confederations Cup and his death in 2009, and was part of the squad which finished as runners-up in Euro 2008. On the evening of 10 November 2009, Enka committed suicide. At the time of his death, he was widely considered to be a leading contender for the German number no. 1 spot at the 2010 World Cup. Club career Early life and youth career Enka was born on 24 August 1977 in Jena, where he grew up in a flat in the district of Lobeda. He was the youngest of three children born to Dirk Enka, a sports psychologist, and Gisela Enka. He began playing football from an early age, initially playing as a striker, before making the switch to goalkeeper, where he displayed obvious talent. He joined Carl Zeiss Jena in 1985 after an impressive performance while playing against them in a youth team match for SV Jena Farm. He rose through the youth ranks at the club, and in 1993, he played for the Germany under-15 national team against England at Wembley Stadium. The game finished 0-0, with Enka receiving praise for multiple saves made throughout the match. At the age of 17, Enka signed his first professional contract with Carl Zeiss Jena. Early career Enka worked his way up to the first team at Carl Zeiss Jena during the 1995-96 season. He made his professional debut on the 11th of November 1995 against future club Hanover 96 in the 2 Bundesliga. He was given the opportunity after the club suffered two consecutive fiascos against Duisburg and Bochum, prompting coach Eberhard Vogel to drop the former first choice goalkeeper Mario Neumann for the youngster Enka. Enka played 3 games during November 1995, but Neumann was restored to the team after this period and Enka did not appear for the first team again that season. The goalkeeper actually would never play for the club again as he was signed by Bundesliga club Borussia Mönchengladbach in the summer of 1996. Enka spent his first two seasons here with the club's U23 side, playing in the lower leagues, as well as for the under-21 national team and honing his talent, studying the club. S number one goalkeeper Uwe Camps, his chance came on the eve of the 1998-99 season when Uwe Camps suffered a ruptured Achilles tendon and new coach Friedel Rausch gave Enka his big chance to finally make his club debut. His first Bundesliga game came on 15 August 1998 in a 3-0 win over Schalke 04 that put them top of the table. However, this position quickly changed as, despite Enka's best efforts, 15 goals were scored past him in just one week. The club plummeted to the foot of the league where they remained from October until their eventual relegation. Rainer Bonhoff was manager from November onward. Life abroad In June 1999, he joined Benfica in Portugal, signing a three year contract, and becoming one of four goalkeepers on the team's books. Enka had a history of panic attacks and had second thoughts soon after signing for the team. He realized however that, having signed a contract, he was obliged to fulfill it. The club were then managed by Enka's countryman Jupp Heineckes, who promptly made him captain. His time in Portugal was a turbulent one, as the club changed manager three times in his three seasons there and suffered their lowest ever league finish sixth, in a trophyless spell, beset by financial difficulties that caused players' wages to often be late. Despite these problems, Enka's performances gained him the admiration of Encarnados Reds fans, as well as interest from clubs like Arsenal, Atletico Madrid and Manchester United chasing him. After contract talks with Benfica stalled, Enka took up the offer of Spanish giants Barcelona and moved on a free transfer in June 2002 on a three-year deal. Life at the Camp Nou proved tough for Enka. He later labeled the goalkeeper's spot at Barca as the most difficult goalkeeping position in Europe, as he ended up playing second choice to Roberto Bonanno and then Victor Valdez. 
His debut set the mark, as the club was humiliatingly knocked out of the Spanish Cup by third flight Novelda CF at the first hurdle on of September 2002 and was criticized by teammate Frank de Boer in public for his part in their exit. His brief taste of La Liga came in a 20-minute appearance as a substitute in a 2-2 draw at Osasuna on 2 March 2003. He did manage to sample some European action during his spell though as he made two UEFA Champions League appearances, against Club Brugge and Galatasaray in the group stage. The following season, as Frank Rijkaard replaced Louis van Hall as coach, Anka was loaned out to Turkish side Fenerbahce, then managed by German coach Christoph Dom, as part of the deal that saw Rustu Rekber move to the Spanish club. However, his career continued to stall as he managed to play just a solitary game there, a traumatic 0-3 defeat to Istanbulspor on 10 August 2003. His own fans pelted him with fire lighters and bottles during the game, blaming him for this bitter defeat. These scenes caused Enka to immediately quit the club and his planned one-year loan and return to Spain. It was at this time that Enka suffered his first spell of depression, and led to him almost quitting football altogether, after a four-month spell back at Barcelona, but outside the first-team squad, Enka dropped down to the Spanish Segunda Division when he was loaned to CD Tenerife in January 2004 for the remainder of the season. Here, he enjoyed an upturn, performing strongly and winning acclaim from the fans and other clubs. Although he believed his career was destined to remain in the lower leagues, he left Tenerife to join Hanover 96 in the Bundesliga. Bundesliga return Following his return to form at CD Tenerife, Enka returned to his homeland joining Bundesliga side Hanover 96 in July 2004 on a free transfer in an initial two-year deal. His career enjoyed its greatest success and stability, as he became firmly established as the club's first choice and was voted the best goalkeeper in the league by his fellow professionals in Kicker magazine. Such form caused Enka to be linked with moves to larger clubs, particularly VfB Stuttgart. In December 2006, however, he ended this speculation by signing a contract extension with Hanover 96 until the end of the 2009-10 season. He was elected team captain by his teammates for the 2007-08 season, a role he would retain for the rest of his career. He again won the Best Goalkeeper Award for the 2008-09 season, which would tragically prove to be his final full campaign. Enka played 180 times for Hanover 96 in total. He made the final appearance of his career on 8 November 2009 in a 2-2 draw at home to Hamburg, just two days before his death. International career Enka first represented his country in 1997 whilst playing for Borussia Mönchengladbach, winning a place in the German under-21 side and retained the number one jersey for the remainder of the season, playing 15 times in total. His performances there convinced former national team coach Eric Ribic to include him in the squad for the 1999 Confederations Cup, although he did not feature in any games. His international career then stalled when he left Germany and he was not considered again until his return to the Bundesliga. The growing acclaim he enjoyed after saw him in contention for the 2006 FIFA World Cup squad, under Jurgen Klinsmann, although he missed out ultimately. He succeeded in breaking into the squad shortly after, under new coach Joachim Lowe, in being chosen for a friendly against Georgia, and, after first choice Jens Lehmann caught the flu, again against Cyprus. He finally made his senior international debut for Germany in a 0-1 friendly defeat to Denmark in Duisburg on 28 March 2007. After further games, he was selected for their Euro 2008 squad which would compete in Austria and Switzerland. Enka was an unused substitute during the tournament that saw Germany finish as runners-up. With the international retirement of previous number one Jens Lehmann at Euro 2008, Enka was poised to make the position his own and played in several World Cup 2010 qualifiers. However, in October 2008, he broke the scaphoid of his left hand while training with the national team for a qualifier against Russia. After undergoing surgery, he was sidelined for two months, and was replaced by René Adler. Upon his return in January 2009, he again became the number one keeper in the national team. In September and October 2009, Enka was again out of action for several weeks. 
The reason given to the Hanover 96 coaching was an intestinal infection Campylobacter, although it is revealed in Ronald Reng's book A Life Too Short, the tragic story of Robert Enka that this was only partly true and in fact Enka depression had returned. He did not return to football until late October, as a result of which he was not called up for a friendly against Chile for which the national team was preparing when he died. This game was subsequently called off as a mark of respect to Enka. Prior to his death, Enka was expected to be Germany's number one goalkeeper at the 2010 World Cup, ahead of Manuel Neuer. He died having won eight full international caps. His final international appearance came on 12 August 2009 when he kept a clean sheet against Azerbaijan. Personal life Robert Enka was married to former modern pentathlete Teresa Rehm and had a daughter, Lara, who was born with a heart birth defect, hypoplastic left heart syndrome. She was rendered deaf by the drugs used to treat her heart problems. Her cochlear implant surgery was successful but she died due to complications of her heart defects. In May 2009, they adopted a baby girl, Layla. Enka lived with his family on a small farm in Empey, near Neustadt am Rubenberg, until his death in November 2009. Enka and his wife were involved in several animal rights campaigns, and they owned many pets. He lent his face to the PETA campaign against the fur industry. Death. On the night of 10 November 2009, at the age of 32, Enka committed suicide when he stood in front of a regional express train at a level crossing in Eilvies, Neustadt and Rubenberg. Police confirmed a suicide note was discovered but would not publicize its details. His widow, Teresa, revealed that her husband had been suffering from depression for six years and was treated by a psychiatrist. After the death of his daughter Lara in 2006, he struggled to cope with the loss. Many fans immediately flocked to Hanover 96's AWD Arena home to lay flowers and light candles and sign the book of condolences upon news breaking. His former club Barcelona held a minute's silence before their game that night, and several international matches the following weekend paid the same tribute. As a mark of respect, the German national team cancelled their friendly match against Chile which had been scheduled for 14 November. A minute's silence was also held at all Bundesliga games during 21–22 November 2009 and at Benfica's game in the Cup of Portugal. Germany also cancelled a planned training session and all interviews after his death. Oliver Bierhoff, the national team. S. General Manager, said. We are all shocked. We are lost for words. On 15 November 2009, nearly 40,000 attendees filled the AWD arena for his memorial service. Enka's coffin, covered in white roses, was carried by six of his Hanover 96 teammates. He was then buried in Neustadt, outside Hanover, next to his daughter. S. Grave. As a further mark of respect for their former teammate, the players of Hanover 96 displayed the number one in a circle on the breast of their jerseys, as approved by the DFL as a subtle tribute for the rest of the 2009-10 Bundesliga season. Biography Enka's life was memorialized by Ronald Reng in the biography A Life Too Short, The Tragedy of Robert Enka, 2011. The book won the William Hill Sports Book of the Year in 2011. Robert Enke Foundation The German Football Association, Hanover 96 and the Deutsche Fubel Liga will participate in a foundation in memory of Enke. The Robert Enke Foundation will deal primarily with mental health of players. References External links Official website in German Robert Enka at worldfootball.net Robert Enka at fussballdaden.de in German Robert Enka at national football teams com Robert Enka at ESPN FC Text, audio, video of Theo Zwanziger's eulogy for Robert Enka